between 1 and 20 and then I'll show you how you can get user input here so um, we'll just say int use int um, let's see and we, we want a random number so int random okay so we declared our two integers and um, let's actually seed the random so by using the srand function um, srand means seeding the random function the rand function itself gives us uh, say if we put a number here the rand functions with the modulus operator of this gives us a number between 1 and 100 so well in the in this case it, between 0 and 100 sorry and plus 1 would give us uh, between 1 and sorry once again this would give us a number between 1 and uh, 0 and 99 and plus 1 would give us a number between 1 and 100 so seeding the random is making it actually random because if I just put rand every time you run the program it, it uh, outputs the same number so I'm gonna put an srand statement here and uh, this is just uh, a lot of unnecessary well you can't say they're unnecessary but um, basically what I did here I'll try to explain uh, static cast is uh, a way of casting mm, this is the parameter given to, to the uh, template static cast and what it does is it takes time basically and uh, time zero and whatever data type it's in and uh, uses the static cast to transfer it into an unsigned integer which is then used to seed uh, the random function and sorry if it's a bit too hard to understand right now but you'll get it soon enough I, and let's see so we seeded the random and now we we have our int random be equal to uh, well let's just keep it at this for now random equals rand 20 plus 1 so this will give us a random number between 1 and 20 right because I explained the random function so modulus 20 will give us 1 and 9 between 0 and 19 plus 1 gives us 1 and 20 between 1 and 20 so now that we have a random number let's say see out please enter a guess between 1 and 20 and now we put use the C in operator with, with the overload operators uh, to get the oops I have to declare another variable here int a user guess and you get the user guess now let's do some if statement if they statements if user guess is equal to random uh, see out wow you won good job whatever you can put anything here obviously so and L uh, and now so the first thing it checks for is if we won if also if user guess is less than or greater than random see it oops let's put see out here oops too high please try again so please try again mm, let's see and else if user guess is uh, less than random you put uh, see out oops too too low please try again 
So now, um, let's see. I didn't want to make this into a loop, but I guess it will have to. We will have to, because yeah, we will. So. Um, okay so we will have to make this into a loop uh, and I'll explain loops in the next tutorial but this is gonna be a quick brief for I guess on loops so uh, a while loop also takes a condition so it's it's basically literally while something uh, and while um, user guess is not equal to random sorry and um, I'm gonna put this opening bracket here and please enter a number between 1 and 20 see in user guess wow you won good job and else if Please try again. So here I'm going to close this while loop, and I'm going to actually use a new uh, system call, and it's it's a bad call. So, well, stay away from using it too much. But in this case, I'm going to because for the sake of simplicity, I guess. So system CLS uh, pretty much clears the screen. It's a system call. So if you're running on Linux or Macintosh it won't work it's a it's a Windows call so basically this is our main game loop and so when when the user one uh, will make another while loop here uh, while uh, user In, in oh sorry car character play again while um, play again is not equal to a oops to y oops I mean is equal to y or this is the the or operator play again is equal to y right so this opens our main loop and uh, here we put the sorry if I'm not explaining this well enough but uh, while play again equals y or we can just put two lower which brings two lower play again uh, well all the the character play again to lower to lower case I mean and while to lower play against is equal to y uh, we continue so here we put C out do want wish to play again oops and here we put y no yes or no we put an escape character to s symbolize that this this will be shown and yes or no let's put something like this C in uh, play again play again so now we end this while loop and now we end the system so once again we include up here we include C O N I O dot H sorry if this is such a long program but I hope you can all read it. So uh, get ch get char return zero. So uh, this is our program. Please enter guess. We have two nested while loops. Sorry that I didn't get into loops this time, but maybe you should you should watch the next tutorial on loops, and then maybe you'll get how this program works. And so let's try to ex compile and run it. And uh, Hopefully it will work.